Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So um, today we're going to be tackling some more logical puzzle questions. So thank you so much as always for all of the support and for continuing to put your questions on the document. It definitely makes my life a lot easier. Um, as I mentioned, we will be having some, um, I'll be doing some VR walkthrough videos um, as well as some SJT drag and drop, um, which a lot of people have requested, as well as the full mock walkthrough, um, which will be coming out at hopefully 2000 subscribers. Okay, so thank you so much as always for all of the views and do uh, continue to keep them coming in. Today we're going to be working on some more logical puzzles and just one thing to kind of like ease viewers and ease your guys' um, kind of tension, I guess, is that the ones on Medify are ridiculous, some of them. Honestly, they do it because they know students like a challenge and, you know, just to get you prepared. But try the ones on the official UCAT question bank. You'll feel a lot better. They're definitely a lot more manageable. OK, so this question um, is actually a table question in disguise. I would say it's probably the best way to solve it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So you've got Black Church. Morstatin, Coveswater, Huni Central, um, Queen's Rudd, Astra, London Village, and New Style. Okay, so there's one stop between Blackchurch and Morstatin. So Morstatin is five, remember? So let's get those kind of easy marks on our table out of the way. And if you guys are new here and you're not familiar with what I am doing, please do go check out my logic puzzle videos the earlier ones this is quite i've done quite a few in this series because there's quite a few styles of them but also some of them are harder versions of a certain style so this is kind of like the two-way table style i know it's called the two-way table but there's only one way here earlier viewers will know what i mean um but yeah be sure to go check those out everything on my channel is divided quite clearly into playlists so there's one stop between black church and more statin which means black church is either three or it is seven okay so, uh, Coeswater and Huni Central are opposite ends of the line. So, they are right at the end. It means none of the others can be right at the end. Okay? When the trail is travelling westward, so that's this way, it passes one stop after Queen's Road before it reaches Astra. Okay? So, for that reason, Queen's Road can't be 7, because then Astra would be 5 and we know more Staten is 5. Okay. Also, for that reason, Queensrood can't be two because we know there's Queensrood blank and then Astra, but here then there would only be two. And Queensrood also can't be three because if that if Queensrood was three, then Astra would be one, and we know Astra's not one; it's one of Coves, Water, or Huni Central. Okay. Perfect. And then, so if we keep going, it says when the train is travelling eastward, it passes through two stops after London Village before it reaches new style, okay? So that means London Village, once again, can't be six or seven, because it was six, remember, there's three more stations after London Village, so it can't be six or seven, because that wouldn't fit, okay? Also, it can't be two, because if London Village was two, think about it, then two more stations, new style would have to be five, but we know more statins five, okay? And... Okay, so that's pretty much all that we can do with that information. Finally, with the new style thing. So we, we, we know that there's at least three stations here before new style. So new style can't be the first three stations. And with that, finally, we get one of our ticks. So Astra must be here. And remember what we said. Astra is, it passes one stop after Queen's Road before it reaches Astra. So um, when traveling westward, okay, when traveling westward. So that means Queen's Road must be four. OK, LV must be here and LV to N is a gap of like two. So N must be here. So I'm just filling in the information now. Black Church has to be seven. And that's all we know. We don't know where Coast Water and um, CUNY Central are. So this question is actually not as bad as it looks, but 100% I would advise you guys to skip this one. And I would have done so on the first go as well. So when the train is traveling eastward, Black Church is a stop after New, new Style. Uh, eastward is this way, yes, because New Style is 6, but Church is 7. So you can really see, actually not that hard of a question, um, but it just looks hard if you don't know what to do here. So you can see here, we kind of made a table out of it. Okay, awesome. So um, a really, really hard question, which can be simplified. And that's another reason why I love the two-way tables. But I do want to emphasize once again, if you are doing decision making, please do leave the logical puzzles till the end. Um, they are definitely not worth it, I don't think anyways. Okay, awesome. Okay, so on to this question here then. So this is a little bit more of an ordering question, kind of like, you know, earlier on we had some 
kind of height questions about which one's the tallest in some of the earlier videos in the series but um, this is definitely a different style okay um, because it's it's a similar way of working it out but it's a little bit more complex so let's have a look at it so we've got is it one two three four five six seven eight different types of animals so they visit the koalas sometime after crocodiles and visit four different habitats between the koalas and the crocodiles so it's crocodiles dash 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 koalas they visit the penguins immediately after the gorillas so gorillas and penguins are like this, right next to each other. The arrow just in my head means that they're right next to each other. They visit the flamingos sometime before the hippos. So hippos, flamingos, sometime after the tigers, who they visit immediately before the elephants. So that means tigers and elephants are here. And remember, there could be gaps. I'm just going to put some question marks in between. Okay. They visit the gorillas immediately after the elephants or the flamingos. Okay, so we don't know where the gorillas go, but we know that they're going to go one up here. And we also know that it's going to be gorillas and penguins, right, that go in that gap because we know the gorillas and penguins is like a consequential visit. The final habitat they visit is not the one with the hippos, the penguins or the crocodiles. So now it's all about fitting this idea together. And so you've got to kind of ask yourself. So you can see here, first of all, at first it may have looked like we can fit T, E, F and H within this gap of four. But that's clearly not going to be possible because it's no longer a gap of four. It becomes mandatory, like a six, basically those kind of animals okay so the final habitat is not the one with the hippos the penguins or the crocodiles so it basically means that h isn't the very last one so you can see with this setup h's so basically there's two kind of front runners to be the last it's either the hippos or the koalas right so based on that order what we're gonna have to do is because it's not the hippo, um, hippos that are last we're gonna have to slot the hippos in here that's the only way okay and I know what you guys are probably thinking now. It's kind of like, okay, mm, so the reason why either the hippos or the koalas are last is because in this order, right, do you see that they have to end up there? Okay, so they have to basically end up, um, based on the two things we have, it's either hippos last or koalas last. Since we know it um, has to be, uh, it can't be koalas last. Sorry, it can't be hippos last. It must be koalas last. And therefore, the only way to fit the information in adequately is to put hippos here. And so in terms of where these kind of things belong, um, if you think about it, so we've got either, and so we can, just to complete it off, so we've either got, it goes, so we've got three gaps here, okay? It only makes sense for it to belong in one way. So the gorilla penguins, okay, I, know I called it that because I'm putting them together. They can only ever come after F, the reason being is, so if they come after F, then it looks like this. It looks like F, G, P, and you've got T and E, right? Everything works out nicely. If they came in the other place, so let me just redraw my three gaps again. So, okay, if Gorilla Penguins came after T and E, that would mean you have to have T, E, G, and P all in a row, which would leave just F. But you can't have all four of these in a row because CR is in the middle of them. Does that make sense? So try and like imagine that and then there would only be like F somewhere. Like it wouldn't make sense basically. So the crocodiles would get in the middle if the GP were straight after the elephant. So the, the gorilla penguins have to be straight after the flamingos. So which is the type of animal lived in the next to last habitat the family visited? Next to last, second to last. So I believe it's C, the hippos. Okay, perfect. So on. Okay, so last question. So this is a tricky question. This is a two-way table, um, as you guys are probably familiar with, but it's a trickier version of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will probably put the countries down the middle. So Croatia, France, Greece, Norway, Switzerland. And it's scheduled in a different month and they have different activities. So climbing, cycling, hiking, sailing and walking. And it's in May, June, July, August, and September. Okay, so the cycling holiday isn't in France or Croatia. It's scheduled the month before the holiday in Norway. Okay, and three months after the walking holiday. So if we just use a bit of logic there. So you've got the holiday, you've got a random holiday. So the only way it can be scheduled three months after a ho like after another holiday and one month before another holiday is if it was in August. Think about it. Because if it was in May, it wouldn't make sense because there's no holiday before it. If 
it was in July, it wouldn't make sense because there has to be at least three months before it. If it's in, uh, sorry, if it's in June or July, it wouldn't make sense. There has to be at least three months before it. Therefore, it's between August and September. With September, there would there wouldn't be no space for another holiday to be after it. So it has to be August. So therefore, the cycling holiday is in August, and it says it's the month before the holiday in Norway. So the Norway holiday is in September. Okay, and remember, arrow over the top means we can copy some of these ideas in. Okay, and then it says three months after the walking holiday, so we know the walking holiday is therefore going to be this one, so not there. Okay, um, and if we keep going, so the holiday in Switzerland is the month before the holiday in Croatia. So just I'm just going to make a little bit of like a almost reference as such, because we've got walking holiday, then we've got cycling holiday, and then we've got Norway. So, okay, I'm just trying to make a kind of almost kind of going two-way table as well as a bit of own logic at the same time. Holiday in Switzerland is a month before the holiday in Croatia. So if the holiday in Switzerland is a month before, Croatia can't be on M and Switzerland therefore can't be this one, which means Greece must be in August. The reason why Switzerland can't be that one is because if it's the month before the holiday in Croatia and September's the holiday in Croatia, we know that can't be true. So Greece must therefore be cycling okay and so now we know switzerland is a month before croatia um which isn't hiking or climbing so croatia isn't hiking and it isn't climbing can we get much more out of it not really um holiday in greece is the month after the climbing holiday so the climbing is therefore july so it's not this one we can cross out this as well um and the holiday in Greece is the month after the climbing holiday. So we know Greece is not climbing. Yeah. And the month before the hiking. So Norway must therefore be hiking. So this one. So Norway is hiking. I didn't need to draw the arrow over the top. I guess I could have just crossed it out as such. So just to reduce, I'm just going to cross out some of this. Oh. Okay, um, and then we can still have this idea here going onwards. So the holiday in Greece is the, so we figured out that Greece is therefore here. Greece is here, it's the month after the climbing holiday, so climbing is this one. Um, and the month before the hiking holiday, so we figured out hiking was here. So we should have all of our dates technically, therefore sailing is going to be the one that's in June. Okay. Cool. Oh, sorry. So you can see this one, Croatia. Uh, that's yeah. So that one's Croatia. Um, and therefore that has to be the sailing. Croatia is sailing. So we can already start ruling out answers. Walking is Croatia. Wrong. Sailing is Norway. Is gonna be wrong because the sailing is the hiking is Norway, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Hiking is Norway. So Norway is going to be hiking. So this one's wrong. The climbing holiday is in France. We're just getting to that. The cycling holiday is in Switzerland. It has to be wrong because it's in Greece. So we know this must be the answer. Um, we can do our best to finish it off as well. Because um, the holiday in Greece is the month after the climbing holiday. And climbing holiday is July. Okay, so we haven't actually been given that one yet. Um, I'm trying to see if we can actually get there. I mean, obviously you can see we don't need to, but in the month before the hiking holiday. Wait. Um, Croatia isn't... Switzerland is the month before. Okay, so Switzerland is walking. So Switzerland is walking. Da, 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 da. Oh, so Switzerland has to be that one. So Switzerland has to be walking. That makes sense. Yeah, and that leaves this here and that's here. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you would be able to complete it. So 
once you, once again you can see these are very hard questions and um as mentioned before you know logical puzzles you don't necessarily have to do them okay so that's some relief for you guys like these are hard 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 questions don't forget that okay great so um i hope that makes sense and i hope this video is useful please do continue to keep sending in the documents um and the questions you'd like me to go through and i'm more than happy to do that but thank you as always for all of your support guys and please do keep the comments coming in and let us know how you get on with your examinations as well okay so the very best of luck i'm aware that this next kind of week or two is going to be a big big week in terms of people taking their examinations so yeah um best of luck and hope